Sophie McNeil, ABC News, Gaza. Consumer groups are reporting a surge in the number of complaints about unscrupulous solar energy marketers. Complaints include inferior materials and failure to connect systems to the grid. And as Zara Gent reports, the common thread appears to be high pressure, unsolicited sales pitches. In December last year, Peter Georgopoulos bought a $13,000 solar system from IRES Asia Pacific. He says the sales representative promised there'd be no more paying for electricity. I can show you some bills over $380. Over They're supposed to be $30. In other words, they're not working. And he says that wasn't the only lie. He showed me all the paperwork that um, it was a German unit. When the um, solar panels came out and the units, it was made in China. IRES Asia Pacific hasn't responded to the ABC's inquiries, but they're not the only company with unhappy customers. We've seen a real spike in cases this year of solar sales being sold on expensive finance. I think in the last uh, six months we've received, received over 50 cases. Um, it often is a, a very high pressure sales approach, unsolicited often, um, either door to door or results from a telemarketing call, and also over promising what these products can deliver. The ABC has spoken to a number of people who bought solar systems from door-to-door -door salespeople and months later are still waiting for the products to be connected. In one case, the company has since gone into liquidation. In another, a customer thought he was simply receiving a quote and found himself signed up to a system he could barely afford. Peter Georgopoulos has made more than 40 calls to the company fighting to get his system connected. For other people, it's involved lengthy legal action. People need to have a place to go to resolve disputes quite easily and simply. Uh, the Energy and Water Ombudsman Service uh, at the moment uh, can't consider these sort of disputes with solar providers. Um, instead, you have to use the courts and tribunals. The dark side of a rapidly growing industry. Sarah Gench, ABC News.